Welcome, welcome everybody to the first episode, the first ever episode of Lunga's Jazz Lounge. Today we have my main man, the grandmaster of the horn, <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Musiso Sidney Mabunda. Wow, welcome. Thanks, man. man. Thank you. Thanks yeah. for having me. I'm very happy to be here, man. Yeah, man. Looking I'm looking forward as well. Man, I'm excited too, yeah, man. It's, yeah, we've been talking yeah. about this for a while. For a very long time. For a very long time. No, so, yeah, um, yeah. you know, this is Lunga's Jazz Lounge. Exactly. As you can see, everybody, it's just my lounge. Yeah. And we're about to play some music. So That's it. I yeah. want to know from Sydney, uh, how do you feel, man, that this is actually happening? I'm very, very excited. Uh, it's one of the days I've been looking forward to and uh, to present the music, you know. Uh, and uh, this thing is for me when we sat, possibly in that couch, even this one, yeah. in this lounge, uh, talking about such an idea, a beautiful idea, that we want to play music in our houses, in the lounge. Right. And uh, given the situation we're in, or we've been in, which is the pandemic itself, the COVID, uh, it helped us, pushed us even harder to execute this. Right, right. And uh, all we're looking for, it's a, it's a space to present the music. Yeah, yeah. So if we have that, we must utilize that. Uh, I'm happy I'm the first one to play here. Yeah. <laughs> so <laughs> yeah, uh, possibly I've made history for yeah. the Lunga's Jazz Lounge. Oh, definitely. Yeah. <laughs> you know. <laughs> so I'm very much looking forward. And uh, yeah, like I say, the space, that's what we needed. And uh, yeah, we're going to have a good time. Yeah. Yeah. Welcome, everybody, to the first episode, the very first a segment of Lunga's Jazz Lounge. Um, it's quite an auspicious occasion. This, uh, for many reasons, um, and I will be brief, but I feel as if it's important just to introduce what we are trying to do here. So um, Lunga's Jazz Lounge came up. Firstly, I, I need to preface by saying that this house that you are in is a house for artists, right? In all in, in every respect of a word, because even my neighbors know occasionally they'll hear the odd trumpet solo or the saxophone or just a lot of beautiful noise emanating from this place. Um, the likes of Fairfax who have slept here, they've composed music, Sydney Mavunja. I mean, at some stage, African Kize was practicing here since 6 a.m. in the morning. So it's that kind of space. So we've had a lot of conversations with with the seed, and you're like, why don't we officialize this noise? And we thought of doing this. So um, I'm very thrilled that this is actually coming about, and we will see where it goes. Um, I would also like to thank everyone that pledged. Um, your contributions will go very far uh, in, in, in preserving what we are trying to do here. And I would like to um, emphasize that your RSVP is the pledge in itself. So hey, please feel free to to pledge. Even today there's a machine out there because we're trying to keep this thing running. Um, now before I call up the band, um, I, I need to introduce to everyone a very special, special guest. I don't know if you guys noticed when you walked in, there was only two seats that were reserved in, in this lounge. And um, um, this man that's seated right next to me here, is Now, um, I feel as if it's important that I acknowledge him uh, to the world over because we are going to upload this. The reason I met all these people hanging up on this wall <laughs> and the jazz literature in this house is because of this man. Um, I've known him since I was five years old. Um, I grew up in front of him in Soweto and he literally introduced me to the world in his lounge. So, so um, I, I mean, I knew places like the Village Vanguard, Blue Note, way before I could even fathom that I could be there physically. Um, there's a CD, Lapa, Keith Jarrett. When, when I first learned of the name Keith Jarrett, it was literally in his lounge. So uh, I had the great fortune of seeing Keith Jarrett live at Carnegie Hall, and I couldn't wait to text him and say, you, you won't believe what's happening to me right now. He has got a collection of jazz music so vast, it'll give you migraines. <laughs> um, and I remember um, 
when I was in high school, I, I saved up to buy this ECM recording at Charles Lloyd. And I was so excited to go show it to him. Because in high school, for those that, of you that know, ECM is quite expensive. So for a high school kid to save up 300 bucks to go buy a CD. So I got to his house, I knocked, it was a Sunday afternoon. You wouldn't, even, you wouldn't remember this. And I walked up to his door, I was like, hey, that didn't come check what I got. And he said to me, boy, sit down. So I sat down in his lounge. He went to his bedroom and he came back with an entire box. Like a child's Lloyd. <laughs> and I was like, yeah, ne? I ignorance is bliss. Yeah. yeah. So, so, but I just wanted to acknowledge you uh, in front of all these people and thank you. Thank you. Yeah, thank you so much. Yeah. Yeah. He's, he's, he's a great man. Sikulele Township, Tina. And he was one person who, who was hip enough, religiously, every Sunday, he used to take us to a Carlton Center to go ice skate with, with white children, religiously so. And he would rent Ama ice skates and say, I want to expose you kids to the world. That's how hip this man is. Um, um, the first time I went to an art museum, it was with him. So, so I, I, I'm very happy that you are here. I'm very happy that you are here. Thank you so much. Uh, and now for the moment <laughs> we've all been waiting for, uh, I'd like to call up the band, these gentlemen that have, you know, um, agreed to come grace us with beautiful music. Uh, where shall I start? I like doing this, by the way. Uh, on drums, ladies and gentlemen, was Pelele Mazibogo. Uh, on the double bass, all the way from Nigeria. Yeah, well, well, <laughs> 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 Mr. Amayeshi Ikechi. Yeah? Yeah. And on piano, a uh, young man with a very beautiful touch, Usanele Pagati. And on trumpet and flugelhorn, very good friend of mine, a big brother, I love him to shreds. Love him so much, his picture hangs up on my wall. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, Mr. Sidney Smusiso Mavunza.
I said earlier, I know this room will be very hot, <laughs> but not with the, with the heat, just any other heat, it will be love. So that's what I'm feeling right now. The love uh, we're going to feel today is not like we're playing for crowds at Moritile Park or any other festival where everybody loves you but you don't know them. Today I know them. Hence I say the cameraman, Ricky, thank you very much. Yeah. I'm Eric, thank you very much. The tune we just played now, it's, uh, it's called uh, Mbonge. I did it on my first album. There it is on the wall. If you don't have, you can have it today. If you talk nicely to me, I'll give it for free, but I'm not sure about that. <laughs> but 150 will, will help you. So it's a tune called Mbonge. It's, uh, yeah, basically for my daughter.
On the drums, Mr. Spelel Mazibugo. All the way from Newcastle. All the way from uh, Nigeria, based in Johannesburg now. Bass player at uh, Amaeshi Ikechi. And uh, he recorded on my last album. Uh, we've done a few gigs. I've worked with Spelelo, a gig, one of the gigs we never got paid. <laughs> which, is, which is one of the things we have to go through in the, in the industry. I remember in, uh, in, in France, the guy was taking care of us. He says, no, but I'll pay you. Please trust me. And Marcus was with us. I said, Marcus, we've been living on trust all over our lives. <laughs> so you cannot tell us about trust. Trust, you know, it's been like that all this time. I told you something, I didn't pay you. I don't know. <laughs> 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 Mr. Sonny Leparati on the piano. And, uh, you know, I had a gig in Durban, and then I called uh, Dalisu, the bass player. Dalisu Dalisu says, if I'm coming down, I don't have a band, what's going to happen? He says, no, you've got Sonny and the others, uh, Professor Washington. Salam, Salam Washington. We had, had a three hours rehearsal, we played the gig. So, yeah. Thank you very much, gentlemen, for doing this for me.
Uh, the next tune we're going to play is called Dr. Tusi. Dr. Tusi is uh, one of my mentors down in Durban. And uh, yeah, we're going to do this. But I might need your help. I might need you to help me. Who cannot sing? <laughs> Look, Prahu said, if you can talk, then you can sing. That's what he said. Rehearsing all of us now. Yeah. We're in a rehearsal space. We're not at, at uh, Luna's Jazz Lounge. We're in a rehearsal space. We'll come back. No.
Thank you very much once again, Mr. Spelelo Azebugo, yeah. Mr. Amayeshi Ikechi, Mr. Sane Lepayazi. Yeah, you meet people every day. I met Amar Khutmane today, you know, through Lunga. He told me a lot about you and where he is today, trying to support the music. He's done a lot supporting the music, Lunga. You'll do a gig in Cape Town, he will come. He will pay his money to go there. And he's told a lot of people. Now, I've got to come in front of me. He flew from this, from Cape Town. I've got to toggle up and I did the same thing. Mpumi, thank you very much for taking care, allowing us to invade your space. Thank you, really appreciate it. Kevin at the back is recording. Yeah, yeah baby. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Kevin, really. So, um, listen, man, this is very intimate, it's very, very tight. Very. Um, I mean, I've seen you play on large stages, concert halls. Yeah. Tell me, what has the experience been like just to rehearse in the space? Uh, another thing we must remember, it's so beautiful to play out there in all these other big places and what have you, things like sure. that. People appreciate your music. People don't, don't even know you. Right. They appreciate the music. But now when you play for people, even the cameraman knows me. Yeah, no. <laughs> <laughs> Sure. The sound guy knows me, you know me, my musicians, possibly people here. The love, you feel it even closer now. It's like closer to you. You can say, oh, so and so is sitting there. It's going to be very warm. Yeah. It's going to be very yeah. warm. Uh, not just warm uh, in terms of the heat, but it's going to be very warm, full of love. Nice, yeah, nice, yeah, nice. Yeah, yeah. So um, I, was, um, I was very fortunate to, to, to be invited to the studio yeah. Uh, when you were <laughs> recording your latest yeah, record, yeah, Dej yeah. for Our Fathers. Yeah, yeah. Um, I know today you will be playing some of that music. Correct. Tell Correct. us about it, man. Correct, man. I'm, I'm excited. Possibly this is the second time I'll be doing the, the music live. We're still working on the on the recording itself. Uh, it was uh, featuring African keys on piano. Okay. Amaya Shikechi, uh, who's going to be play, playing bass again today. Right, right. And then uh, we had Peter Oret who recorded the music and played drums. Yeah. And then today, it's going to be Pelelo on the drums, Pelelo Mazabugo. Right. And uh, look here, I mean, this, these guys, all of them, the support that they give, the love that they bring, the, 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 the willingness to be part of this project, right, be right. it live, be it in the studio recording, I really, really appreciate it. I really appreciate it, man. Right, right, and right. Uh, I mean, you yourself, you saw what was happening. You sure. came in there, you supported the whole project. But the truth is, the truth is, I'm very grateful. Yeah, yeah. Very grateful and very right. humbled by the situation. Yeah, yeah, no, no, we yeah. are too. Yeah.
my mother, when I compose music, she's like hoping there will be something like churchish kind of vibe. Remember, I'm from the Salvation Army, I was born there. Like, my dad is a colonel of the Salvation Army with my mother. So they're always hoping. So I finish recording and then I compose a, 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 a churchish song, I'll call it. I want to say gospel. You know, I want to say gospel. So we're going to play that. You are the first people to hear the song. Thank you. 
Um, tell us more, man. I mean, what, some of the tunes, one of the tunes you'll be playing is a dedication to yes. Dr. Tatoosi. Actually, you know what? Maybe I should put it this way. Yeah. When we say dead for our fathers, right, right. we're talking about the man and the woman who paved the way for sure, us. Sure, sure. Oh. So hence, uh, there's a song dedicated to Brahu, but I talk about uh, all the other musicians I can think of. Depending on the performance, I just think of them weird. If I want to say Begum Stanley, I'll say Begum Stanley. If right, I want to say Miles right. Davis, I'll say Miles Davis. Right, right. Everybody I can think of at the time. Right. But it's a dedication to Brahu. Right. And then why, again, we call the whole album uh, with that uh, title track. There's another song for Brian Tuesday. So basically, the whole album now is more like a dedication to the heroes, the people who made us right, as yeah. musicians. Sure, sure. And Brahe was very close. Dr. Brian Tuesday was very close. Right. You know? And uh, these are the people who, who mentored me. Right, you know? right. I remember 1992 when I first met Brahe. You know, we just became good friends yeah. and uh, good, uh, uh, good uh, student, uh, student and, uh, and, uh, and, uh, and a teacher. Right, right. Same as Brian Tusi, the same right. year I was staying in Brian Tusi's house. Right. It's the same here I met uh, Dr. Masigel. Yeah. You know? yeah. So basically the whole thing, it talks to the dedication to, to, to the dedication of the people right. who paved the way for us, right. basically. Yeah, that's what it is, man. Wow, wow. You know, like, uh, I mean, I look at a song like uh, Lockdown Jam. Yeah. It's influenced by the music of Miles Davis. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know? Yeah. yeah, so that's what it is. So it's influences from there and there, but we are paying respect mm. to, to the people who made us. Wow. Yeah. Our last number, I'm sure some of you who've been to my gigs, they know I like paying tribute to the, the jazz episode. Uh, so Kipi Miyake's number, Scholar Department, our own presentation of it.
Thank you, thank you very much. We're gonna just give you a tag, not a song. Thank you. 